What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Four Dummies, where I am joined by the other three dummies. I have Mrs. Skullface. Hi. I have Robert Detoff. Bobby Skullface over here. Oh. Bobby Skullface <laughs> over here. And I have just one. Yo, what's happening? Recently in our dummies chat, which I can tell you is the fifth chat too many for me, but it's actually a pretty a pretty funny chat. Jisk recently made a statement, and the statement was, I'm starting to get tired of this. If I could figure out what to do next, I would quit, which raised a number of questions to me. But let's go through the phases of those questions. We'll start first with just what do you mean by that? What, what do you, what, why are you getting tired of it? And what are you thinking about in order to move on? And why do you need something else to move on? I don't know. As I look around it, it just doesn't spark that joy. You really want to bring it back to a couple episodes ago or the beginning. Just to clarify, you mean the the act of collecting? Or yeah, you mean so like the whole thing, like podcast? No, no, and no. Just, like, so just, just collecting. I only collect Transformers. I don't collect anything else. I don't have a desire to collect anything else. Do you think you expected having this display space in this new house to save your passion? Or revitalize it? No. Mm. Uh, no, I was just excited about being able to build on it, which I have. With Detolfs, that's your problem. And Bestas. <laughs> yeah, but, and, and listen, I, and I know the Detolfs are a problem. I don't think, I think the Bestas, for me, may be the solution. They're not but, the best option. But they may be the best <laughs> option for me. <laughs> <laughs> So let's go through it. Looking at it is not bringing you joy. The exception of the fan toy stuff. The fan <laughs> toy stuff to me is the only stuff that's interesting to look at. So it's coming down to, you know, man, do I just want to collect fan toy stuff and that's it? I have been asking myself the same question in regards to Transformers. I have the same thought and there is a precedent is that one foot out of collecting because and then you eventually say you know what i'm done and my fear is if i do that am i out yeah but hold on and so that's why I, <laughs> that's why I, I have to think about it because i'm like all right maybe it's just that i want to just collect fans toys because it's the only thing that's really interesting me when i look at this collection and then i think you know, all right well maybe i don't want to do any of it and then that's what prompted to well what would i do what would the space be pardon straight pardon <laughs> I'm never really up here either. You know, I think there's a lot of things going into it. I just, I'm super busy lately, so I'm never up here. It's like I'm just constantly doing other things. There's nothing really coming out anymore to like ignite the so hobby or that, sustain. That is something that I have kind of really come to discover within the past six months is the display room needs to serve a purpose and it needs to feel like part of the house. Because right. if it doesn't, it ends up being kind of a museum and you don't live at the museum. You visit the museum. Yeah. And really only when you have gobs of extra time do you visit the museum. Correct. I'm always going to make my home office my display room as well because I get to surround myself with the stuff that really feels like me. You know, like if I wasn't worried about being judged, I would do that in my proper office. But it's just too weird. You know, people right. have do have a certain level of expectations. <laughs> and I worry. I feel like there's different types of display spaces. I want to see this stuff. I want to be around it. and Because it really in some way grounds me to who I am inside from when I was a kid. And I love that. But I, I feel well, like I would always use space. Otherwise, it's just going to be my home office. So before, I think when I was living at the other house, I was a, a stay at home dad and I was doing a ton of stuff for the realm. So I was, that's where I lived. I lived just in this room. It's where like the computer was to do all the stuff I had to do. And now I'm not doing any of that. So I rarely like the only times I really come in here now are f for this. But like, no, I agree. So like I have noticed that like turning my main room into more of a living space has had gratifying results. It's not where I want it to be yet, but it's it's closer. Yeah, I think the biggest thing that you did was getting rid of the 40K table. You think? And turning... Yeah, and turning that into a proper living space. It's not like, oh, this is my collection room. It's like, this is a room to come chill in and check out my collection. Correct. But it's not... It's not just, oh, walk around this giant friggin' table and then get the hell out because there's nothing else to do there. Right. Um, when I hear you say these things, it sounds like you need something else to do if you're going to get out of this. So the question I is, do. are you just doing this because you have nothing else to do? Uh, no. So when I think about, all right, let's say there were no more figures coming out. Like, that's it. Everything's been made. You know, my, my thought would be, all right, well, then my hobby then becomes curating this space that I have to right. just to whatever the final form is. You know right, what I mean? Right. And I don't know what that, th that's kind of was always the goal. Listen, there's, I know how I work and there's a, there's a huge chance that another hobby could come my way that I would take all my time and I would leave this hobby for that one. What do you think I it would be? Fun the next one. I have no idea. And that's the thing. I have 
no idea. <laughs> Anybody that's known me from the beginning has always known that there was an end to this. Right, right, right. There me was too. an end to collecting at some point, right, you know? There's an end to my Transformers collecting. You know, I, I'm also willing to admit that all this may just simply be coming from the fact that I'm just bored. Because nobody's put it out, except for fans. Yeah, course. yeah. But even then, but I mean, it's so little, like, like the tree, you know what I mean? It's, <laughs> I'm just looking for that new fix. And not that I need something like that, but I'm just getting bored. So it's like, all right, well, now what? Now what am I doing? This getting boring and therefore it's getting old there, there's something about and I, I understand i think that you want to kind of uh work on the display area as you're working on collecting that you don't want to do that because you want to have all the collecting done so you know exactly what you're working with within that space right right i understand that but you might be doing yourself a disservice because you might not be finished until 2042 i hope not robert do you see any end to, to your collecting because your collecting is all over the place in regard to, <laughs> to transformers i hear people they discuss their collecting they say i want an end to it once this happens it's over what i'm seeing just looking at my collection and my collecting is this is uh, not a static process this is dynamic it's changing and there are trends and then the toy makers go back and redo figures to now modernize them with either aesthetic or engineering or what collectors now want it's a technology and a design it's art it's evolving so my collecting right started out with the generation toy and warbatron and all this chug scale with the combiners and i still have abominus devastator and bruticus on my shelf but you know that was a phase it, re it wasn't a phase at the time it was what was hot and new and interesting and but then fans toys is coming out it's it's evolving and changing now this chug stuff is out the door and now the mp stuff right there's a new optimus see so out with the old and with the new have you yes. sold anything that you've replaced no it's it's not as much dynamic for you as it is hoarding, it sounds like. No, 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 because a lot of stuff has now been boxed. Because honestly, the but time it it's takes it's boxed and taking up space. Like this like is it's true. it's your you're collecting stuff in box now. In addition no, no, to no, the no. stuff that you're collecting on display. The reason I'm not selling the stuff that I've boxed is just I don't have the time because my time's worth more. I can make a thousand times more profit working at my job. It's not worth it to me, but you make a great point. It's taking up space and I'm paying for that real estate either in my apartment or my storage room. And that's bad. Right. It's going to be an ongoing process. But you don't have the like, space. You're just boxing them up and putting them in another space. Like you're still, I just, they're still acquiring I, the space. No, but I'm talking about my display space, just in terms of where I'm sitting, looking at my toys. He's talking about that prime real estate. <laughs> when a new version of a figure comes out that is better than what you have on your shelf, are you going to want the new figure? If the answer is yes, or it's on a case by case basis, I argue you will not be done collecting. Well, yeah, yeah. but I mean, but I, I, see, I think Jisk is even willing to admit that. But th but right. that's not that's not really even, you're, that's not even like you're collecting anymore. It's like you're upkeeping. Tomorrow always evolves, and there will be something new and sexy and exciting that you're going to want. Because you are the anomaly. You're a third-party collector. Hmm. You have Flames toys. You have the Legend stuff. You have the Masterpiece stuff. You have the Beast Wars stuff. You have the stylized Beast Wars stuff, like the Leonidas and all that. You are a consumer, a advocate, a fan of third-party Transformers, and you, by and large, buy it all. I'm just trying to kind of define what keeps your gears moving. You are constantly getting things. Jisk and I are not. We are not having our addiction fed. Right, yeah, at 100%. It doesn't really affect my day-to-day -day collecting because I'm collecting so many different lines that like, yeah. okay, well, this one kind of hits the back burner while other stuff gets moved to the forefront. But I have a Laura, lot let me, of collections. Let me ask this you space. a question about, so so is there any hobbies that you have that you have this same kind of issue with? Most of the hobbies that I presently have don't necessarily require collections, except for maybe other than knowledge. Mm. Hey, Jisk. Yo. Feeling comfortable? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I'll probably never stop collecting, period. You know, what I collect might change and evolve, like, like kind of like what you're saying, Jisk. But when this, when the, like, when the G1 Transformer Masterpiece Collection is complete, I will be working on having the perfect display for that collection and then moving on to the next. Right. right. All right. Yeah. So it's kind of like in line. 
Yeah, but mine's mine is like, similar to yours, but I don't. I feel like you are more desperate to get out than I am. Well, because it's the only. I don't have anything else. It's a much more weighted decision, I think, for me because it's it. This is all I have. You know what I mean? So it's like, all right. To me, it seems like know, that would if, be easier. It's not because what do I do next? Now what? Because I don't want to collect anything else. So it's like it's basically like essentially what hobby would you do if you didn't do this hobby? So it's almost out of fear of you don't know what to do next. It's almost like you don't want this to end in a way. It's not that I don't want it. So here's here's what's happening with me and how I see this playing out at some point. At some point, I'm just going to get out, but I'll find another hobby. So now what's going to happen is as this starts to slow down to a real slow drip, I'm going to have to find another hobby. And whenever I once I find what that is, then this will just be left behind along with all of you. I'm just kidding. (laughs) (laughs) A guy with his pants on fire. A water buffalo. Someone smoking in a hotel lobby. Lost and found items on a beach. A dribble, a trickle, and a drip. A meandering stream. A wife with her eyebrows up. Oh, whatever. (laughs) 